Welcome to Photo Nerd's ongoing video series, Photoshop Keyboard Shortcuts. We'll be putting out a lot of tips in relation to keyboard shortcuts, so be sure to stick around. And in the descriptions below, we'll have details for each keyboard shortcut covered in today's video, as well as a link to a document that you can actually print out and make notes on as we continue to cover all of the Photoshop keyboard shortcuts in this series. So today we're going to cover five keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you today is the letter H. The letter H stands for the hand tool, and if I hit it, you'll see that this little itty bitty hand is going to pop up. And what's cool about the hand tool is that typically I can click and drag on my photo and move my photo around. But in this particular instance, it's not going to let me do that because my workspace is locked. So that's going to bring me to keyboard shortcut number two, which is going to show you how to unlock this workspace here. And the easiest way to do that is to hit the letter F, which is going to bring us into full screen mode. And now on the first position, you can see that I can drag my picture around by using the hand tool, which is pretty cool. So these two kind of go together hand in hand, pun intended. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, all right. So this full screen mode, it's probably good that you know that the full screen mode is actually three different positions. So if I hit F again, my screen will turn black. And uh, don't worry, Photoshop didn't disappear. All that happened was that my panels um, have been hidden. But if I move my cursor over to the right or left, depending on where your tools are, typically the tools are on the left and layers and masking is on the right. Uh, for me, I've moved all my tools and my masking over to the right so that I don't have to keep moving back and forth. That kind of gets annoying. Um, so everything for me is on the right-hand side. So if I go over to the right, my tools panel pops up. When I come back to my photograph, the tools panel disappears. Uh, with the hand tool, I can still move my photograph around as I continue to work. If I hit the letter F key one more time, that brings me back to the lock screen, which is where we started at the beginning. So three positions, F number one, here's F number two, and F number three is where it goes black. Hit F again, and it starts all over. So that's keyboard shortcut number two. Another thing that some people like to do is to rotate their photograph as they work. Think of it as if you were an artist or you were coloring in a coloring book or something like that, if I put a piece of paper down on the desk, I might want to rotate my piece of paper as I color it. Well, we can do that with our photograph too. If I hit the letter R, then what I can do is click and drag, and that will actually ro let me rotate my piece of paper around as I continue to work, and then I can rotate some more and work and rotate, so forth and so on. Once I'm done, rotating the paper, I simply hit escape and that'll put my picture back to the way it was. And then I can hit the letter H for the little hand tool. And now I'm right back to where I started. So the letter R works great for rotating your document or photograph. So the fourth keyboard shortcut I want to talk about is zooming in and out of our picture. If I hit the letter Z, I will actually grab my zoom tool and that will allow me to click on the picture so that I can, every time I click, it's going to zoom in. If I want to zoom out, I can simply hold my option key down on a Mac or alt key on a PC and click and that will allow me to zoom outward. So I can zoom in just by clicking or alter option to zoom in. And if I zoom in or out to where the picture is really small or really large, the fifth and final keyboard shortcut for today is going to be the command or control plus the zero key. Command on a Mac, control on a PC plus the number zero. That will immediately take my picture to full screen from any position it was in before. So again, if I zoom way in and hit command or control and the number zero, then my image will snap back to fit to screen or full screen mode. And that's our tip of the week. 
If you like this video, be sure to comment, like, or subscribe to our channel where we will be putting out new tips each and every week.